Hi. Hello once again. Did I just see you a few minutes ago? <laughs> but today's second half is your days of uh, your daily bread portion of this episode eleven oh two. And this is eleven oh two B. We're gonna be talk we're gonna be learning about having any questions from Dave Brennan, derived from Luke 18, 35 through 43. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new. You know the know the deal. But without further ado, do you have any questions? Let's find out what Luke Dave Brennan talks about. Luke 18, 35 through 43. And this is your glorious Lord's Day Sunday, September the 17th. Anne was meeting with her oral surgeon for a pre preliminary examination or exam. A physician she known for many years. A physician she had known for many years. He had asked her, Do you have any questions? And trust me, all we've all said that. We've asked people any questions about what I just said? So she said, Yes. Did you go to church last Sunday? Her question wasn't intended to be judgmental, but simply to initiate a conversation about faith. The surgeon had a less than positive church experience growing up, and he hadn't gone back. Because of Anne's question and their conversation, he reconsidered the role of Jesus and the church in his life. When Anne later gave him a Bible with his name imprinted on it, he received it with tears. So sometimes we can we fear confrontation or don't want to seem too aggressive in sharing our faith. But there could be a winsome way to witness about Jesus. Ask questions. For a man who was God and knew everything, Jesus surely asked a lot of questions. While we yet we yet we don't while yet we don't know his purposes, it's clear his questions prompted others to respond. He asked his disciple Andrew, what do you want? John 1 38. He asked blind Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Mark 10 51, Luke 18 41. He asked the paralyzed man, do you want to get well? John 5 6. And transformation happened for each of these events individuals after Jesus' initial question. So is there someone you might want to approach about matters of faith? Ask God to give you the right questions to ask. Mm. Ooh, this is a short and sweet flowing through this one. I guess because I had that rambling session in the first half, so, but maybe I'm going to have a rambling session at the end. But, um, what, why can questions be better conversation starters than direct statements? Sorry. What questions can you ask those who need spiritual help? Let me know in the comments by putting Q1 or Q2. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your response. It could be somebody else helping you come up with something. If you feel, if you feel like doing that. But... Ponder that by saying, ponder those questions by saying, Dear Jesus, please help me to reach out to others in a way that can lead to transformation. And the Bible reading, um, I know we left, let's see, what was it, Thursday? We left off on Proverbs 19 to 21 and reading 2 Corinthians chapter 7 for that one on Thursday. And so Friday, we should have read Proverbs 20, 22 to 24 and 2 Corinthians 8. Saturday should have been Proverbs 25 and 26, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. And then today is Proverbs 27 through 29 and 2 Corinthians chapter 10. So, so coming up tomorrow in your fantastic Monday, first at 7... We will be identifying Antichrist, episode 1103, part one, beginning with 1 John 
218 from Henry M. Morris III, and today's was Henry M. Morris. First half was Henry M. Morris. I forgot to mention that. But part two, episode 1103, we should be 11, tomorrow should be 1106, or should be 11.05, but I missed a couple of days, so I had to push, I had to hold the numbers out. I pushed the numbers up. So 11.03, part two. We will be learning about the Red Dress Project from Chris, Kirsten Holmberg, derived from Exodus 28, 1 through 8, and 40 and 41. So stay tuned for those. I'll get to those later tonight. I'll try to remember to come back and record some more tonight. To record tomorrow's videos, to have them set up ready to go for tomorrow. So, but coming up, coming up as soon as this video is posted. So coming up at seven, at the regular time, we will be learning about the third. I think it is. Two, three, yeah, the third part of the September weekend series, we will be learning about of the Marks of Faith series, and we'll be learning about the Marks of Healing, beginning with Mark 1, 30 and 31, which we'll be reading in the, in the recommended reading, Mark 1, 29 through 39. Our turning point is from Matthew Henry and our weekend reading. So we basically we missed Fridays. We should have read Jose, Hosea 5 through 9. And then we're we to read finish up the book of Hosea. And then read finish up Jose and read Joel. And it looks like it's, there's only three chapters of Joel. Now, hang on just a second. I'll be right back and just so I can reaffirm that. So I'll be right back in a quick flash. Okay, that one I was talking about, that Jose chapter 10, there's, there's five more chapters of Jose. So Jose 10 through 14, and then the, the book of Joel. You might as well say just the book of Joel because it's only three chapters. So it says It says Jose 10 through Joel 3 which is all of Joel. Because the one on Monday says you start on the book of Amos, or you read the book of Amos. No? Start on the book of Amos. <laughs> starting, to, starting to get into some books that are short. They're only a few chapters a piece. And, of course, you get to Obadiah on on Wednesday. And, of course, that's only one chapter. I don't even know why they even put the one up there. They just... They just they just could say just one or just Obadiah. You don't need to put a number up there when it's just one chapter. And really, you don't need to put the numbers up there when, you, when you're when you doing all the chapters. You should just put the book up there. As, oh, you got to read the whole chapter. Oh, but they do. They do put the numbers up there. So, But stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that in a little bit at seven. So with that said, um, God bless you. God bless America in 2023. Keep on keeping on and trusting God and he'll keep you safe. And all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And, and, until, and until then, peace out, everybody. <whistles> Too long, farewell. Come back, at, come back at seven where we're talking about the next part of the Marks of Faith series with the Marks of Healing. So until then, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. We'll have a great rest of your great the great couple hours until the turning point. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>